Hello everybody, this is a quick review on the Army Painter um, chainmail priming spray paint that I picked up. Um, a lot of people said I probably shouldn't try to paint over uh, the chainmail that I uh, should tape off places for like flesh and cloth. And so I decided to take this miniature I got for free from some company that I bought some miniatures or painting supplies from. I'm not sure what and where it was. It's been a while and I've kind of forgotten. But here's the miniature with some uh, test paints on it. And uh, let's see. Let's use this. Alright. Try to hold myself steady. Here is here is uh, Reaver's uh, golden flesh. Uh, this is two coats of golden flesh over the silver primer. This here is the I believe tan flesh by Reaver's high definition paint. Um, that is two thin down coats. Um, probably could, actually it was slightly thin down. Uh, this here is Chaos Black from Games Workshop because uh, I had it available in the pot. I'm just trying to get rid of it. On the side, it's Skull White. And uh, I'll, so all these other colors are only two coats at most. So this is Skull White at two coats. Here is Reaper's um, Gold. This is the not the antique gold, but the. Um, other one, and I painted black underneath at first. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't. Uh, the belt I painted black first, and then put the gold on top of. And then the other gold here is just two coats. It's two coats there. But this here is just two coats of uh, just the gold over top of the silver, just to see what it would look like. This here is the snake light leather equivalent from Reaper. Uh, two coats as well there. A couple places where I didn't get a very solid coat, but that's fine. Here on this leg is Battle Black Wash. And then on this side, I took this foundation, or not foundation, but Reaper High Definition paint, and I made a paint wash out of it. And I, I went and washed that leg. I guess it's kind of hard to tell, but I just wanted to see what it would look like. And we flip around to the back. Here it is the chain mill itself is the way it comes, the look. Those are still the two washes. And then back here I did an orange and uh, this is two coats and it's a little grainy. It needed to be thinned down a little bit more than what I did but I didn't want to use a whole lot for just uh, testing so I just made do with what I have, how I thinned it out. Because uh, I didn't put a whole lot down on the palette so I didn't want to just flood it with watery paint, which I guess I probably could have, and it would have been too big of a deal. But it being granny isn't too big of a deal either, since I'm not keeping this guy for anything special. This is pretty much what he's going to be used for, is uh, to test paints and maybe color schemes. So, that's what he looks like. Uh, that's what that, it looks like, painted over the miniatures. But uh, I had one problem with the actual, uh, what should I say, I had a problem with the, um, with the primer, and I kind of broke it down to, it's not It's not the, it's not the, the, it's not the nozzle, I don't think. I'll give you something to look at. I don't believe it's the nozzle that my issue is with. Um, but the nozzle got clogged up, and I did two test sprays and it came out fine. And then when I went to go put paint on that, 
from miniature, the nozzle clogged up instantly, and like just a small little like this baby splatter spit came out of the of the paint and a little bit of the aerosol, and that was it. I couldn't get anything else out, no matter what I do with the nozzle. So I took the nozzle off, and I got it soaking in uh, simple green. And I went in the garage, and I took something all pointy and stuck it in there, and the paint came shoot right out, no problem. Um, so I don't know if maybe it's a bad batch, and it's not going through the nozzle very well because of it. Or maybe I didn't shake it up enough, and I thought it did. Or maybe it's because it's so cool in my house, and it's kind of in the 90s, I believe. Yes, I think it's in the 90s right now in Florida. That uh, that temperature difference might have caused some type of issue. And to make sure it wasn't the nozzle, I took my nozzle from the Army Painter White, and I used that, and I know that works out well, and I always tip my cans upside down and spray until it comes out clear. And that worked fine on a couple of test sprays, and as I was spraying the miniature, that clogged up too. Uh, that's how I was able to actually get some base coats down on that miniature. And I'd really love to be able to keep using that spray paint just because of the same principle effect of I can get this here done in no time with that primer. And obviously not the flames. And you know a miniature this size is the avatar and I'll bring him back down. You know I can get him down on that and start putting shadows in. And then you got you know, the rest of these jacks. And I know you'll see black and kind of gray and white, and that's because I was done with the uh, Xenos little highlighting uh, just to try it out. I mean, I have my as my test army for that. And uh, so, yeah, I mean, why have to spray paint primer? these black or white or gray and have to put chain mill over it and then start working in my shadows when I can skip one huge step and then paint right over it whatever color I want anyhow you know it's gonna save me a shitload of time when it comes down to it so if anybody knows what my issue is with that please uh, feel free to leave some comments down below and uh, let me know some things I can maybe try to remedy that problem. Uh, and uh, I know some people complain about the the white. Uh, I've seen some people make bad comments about the, the priming white out of Army Painter's cans. And to be honest, this white you see here is from the Army Painter. And so is the white on this guy, which is getting bleed it out by the light, which is fine since I put friggin' tracing paper, drawing paper over the light to kind of tone down the brightness on my videos, and uh, this guy was all done in the white, and uh, if you've seen the videos with my <clears throat> Affinity guys, which they're kind of not right next to me, so I'm not going to go reach over and grab it, um, they're all primed in that white as well, and I had absolutely no issues with that white. Um, the only other color I've used from their spray paint line was the space or the wool's gray uh, for my space wool's for a primer, and that worked great too. So I'm hoping it's just a bad batch. I'd like to be able to get another can uh, once this one's done and continue to keep, you know, spraying down my my menos. I mean, I got. Lots of men coming down the line. You know, I got all types of troops.